My friends, may I remind you that when you're driving a car, especially on a trip, do remember that this is one of the most dangerous times of the year. So why don't you decide ahead of time that you won't take chances? Please be extra careful during the holidays. Now, it's time for us to meet our special guest for tonight. Here is a gentleman who was kind enough to give up the cool comfort of the country for the heat and humidity of the city. And boy, it's hot here tonight. And he did this just so that he could be with us. We appreciate it very much. Here is Arthur Treacher. Ducky. What are you doing sitting on this bench? Uh, this isn't a bench, old boy. I'm mindful of the heat, so I'm sitting on 600 pounds of ice. Now, that's the best idea I've heard of all evening. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all, old boy. Well, great. I'd to hop. Is your secret, is your secret then that you are sitting on 600 pounds of ice? No, no, no. Now, I feel it's rather selfish of us to sit here and be nice and cool. So, I'm... Um, all these 700 people in your studio audience being so hot. I'm proposing to put the ice to a practical use. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, outside there, I've got 700 cups and gallons of tea. So I thought it'd be rather nice if they all had a little iced tea this evening. Each member of the studio audience every, gets iced every, tea? Yes, yes, everyone. Uh, There's one problem, though. It's going to be quite a job for you to chop up this 600-pound uh, block of ice in order to fill all the cups. I'm not going to do it, old boy. Your panel is going to do it. They're, um, they're going to volunteer to do it. Mr. Treacher, I don't want to disappoint the audience, but I've heard our panel complain of just having to sit there for 30 minutes. Oh, well, they'll, they'll do this, old boy. As a matter of fact, they'll be very anxious to chop up this ice. Why? Now, this is my secret. Because I froze them their paychecks right in the middle of the ice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, in other words, in other words, no chop, no check. That's right. Right? All right. It's very... You folks will be patient. We'll serve the iced tea as soon as the panel has gotten their paychecks. All right? Now, all right, let's get the panel back and see if they can guess that Arthur Treacher's secret is that he has frozen their paychecks in 600 pounds of ice. Well, one, one question each? All right. Oh, here they come. Hello there, friend. Hello, Nice to see you, know, Arthur and oh, yeah. panel. We are going to, uh, we're going to limit your questions to one, uh, to one question each. So we'll start with Betsy, please. All right. Arthur, uh, wh what is the secret? Something he's doing? Some, something that he did. Something he did. Uh, did you do it on the stage already? You didn't no. originally accomplish it on the stage. No. no. All right. Uh, well, so we go to Bill Cullen. Did, uh, would it help us, Arthur, to know when you did this? I didn't think so, do you? Immaterial. All right, and so we go to Bess. It had something to do with entertaining, sir. Were you entertaining when you did it? No, I'm not pretty. Oh, but you meant to be. <laughs> no, good <laughs> reason. No. When he means to be, he is. Oh, you're sweet to say that. I knew that, Charles, years let's, ago. Let's go to Henry. <laughs> Arthur, would it say, my question is, would it, would it... I did it to you, Henry. You they didn't do it, it to me. They didn't did. do it to anybody. We weren't here. Uh, my question is, would it save time if we uh, stopped asking questions? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Thank you, Henry, very much, because we want you to see this. It being hot in town tonight. I'm sitting on ice. You watch this? You're sitting on ice. You know, you look like Mr. John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on ice, yes. Oh. All right. I'm sitting on ice, but... We are going to use this ice for a practical purpose. We are going to serve iced tea to each of the members of the studio audience. Are you? But who do you think is going to chop the ice for us? Arthur. No! <laughs> you're going to, you're going to, and do you know why, Henry? Do you know because why? Because I'm, I'm underpaid. That's uh, why. You have no idea. Let's unveil this. Now, you'll see some envelopes in the center. It says Bill. It says, uh, it says Henry. Yeah, Bill. No, no, what's that there over there? That's Henry, Bill. Uh, Henry, on oh, Betsy. It must be Bess. Those are your paychecks, dear friends. Oh, no. Oh, yeah? <laughs> your paychecks are frozen in I'm underpaid. Oh, I'm under ice. Where's my ice stick? So, no, I'm underpaid under ice. Arthur, will you go and get the tea, old boy, while we distribute little uh, things to the girls? Uh, 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 uh,
Yeah, here's a long picture. way to go. Here's a oh. picture for each. Please do not start Kelly, until no, I advise you. Please don't stab me. Oh, you know? <laughs> they are frozen more in the front than in the back. No, no contest. If you don't, we don't get paid. You don't get paid if you don't. You don't get your check. That's all. Underpaid on the rice. We have a union, you know. There you go. You ain't heard of this. You ain't heard of this. You start. Oh, I chop away, dear friends. Go on, baby. Amendola, the famous ice sculptor of oh, New Haven, right. Connecticut, who did the tricky <laughs> job of embedding the checks in the ice. Henry's almost paid. Henry, Henry's done. almost paid. Henry got his pay check. <laughs> Excuse me, friends, while I sculpt up a little ice. Right, would you mind passing out to the members of our studio line anymore? Watch your step here, young lady, because it's wet. Keep going, friends. Go on. We've got to knock it off, do we? All right, so the iced tea goes out to every one of the 700 members of our studio audience. Pip, to come down here, old friend, a large hand for a very fine man, Arthur Treacher. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. Miss Myerson's down by Nino. This is John Cannon speaking.